Welcome to the Daring Daughters podcast, where bold faith meets bold income and cultivates a vibrant family life. As God's daughters, we embrace unwavering faith and aligned action without sacrificing our families. We tell inspiring stories of daring women who have gone before us and the men who stand by our callings. We learn the wisdom of scriptures and our Heavenly Father who calls us higher in Him. We break free from limitations and tap into the abundant provision from a God who is infinitely able to do more than we could ever imagine or expect. Witness the incredible moments of women who have taken courageous and bold action in their calling. Uncover what's possible for you as a daring daughter of God. Embark on this extraordinary journey with us. The Daring Daughters starts now. Welcome to another episode of the Daring Daughters podcast. Today, we are going to be talking about being bold in your faith, in your family, and in your income. About a year ago, we did some reflection on our brand and realized that we needed to do some cleaning up of our brand. And so we changed our name a year ago from Net Worth It to the Daring Daughters. So you might see some previous episodes and previous seasons where we call ourselves Net Worth It. That's why. And part of that was creating a new tagline. And the tagline that we chose was being bold in faith, families, and income. And we strategically chose those words for a reason. And so we're going to talk about being bold in those three areas. Now, let's talk about the word bold first, okay? Because words are important and words matter on what you choose and they have meaning. And There's a verse in the Bible that says life or death is created in the tongue, right? And choose life. And so what we say and how we say things really, really matters. And I want to encourage you to really focus on that for this year is your words and how you speak about yourself and about your business and about your life. So the word bold, if you look up the definition, the word bold means to show an ability to take risks, to have confidence and to be courageous. So if we're looking at being bold in our faith and in our family and in our income, we're talking about taking risk, about being confident and about being courageous. So let's look at each of those three different things and kind of break them out. And my challenge to you today is that, you know, if you're driving, obviously you can't do this, but if you're in a place where you can sit down and journal some of this stuff after the episode, I would highly recommend that. And what that looks like is just getting out a piece of paper and asking God, God, where can I be more bold in my faith? Where can I be more bold in my family? And where can I be more bold in my income? Now, let's look at each of those. So the first one is your faith. So maybe being more bold in your faith is just being more expressive about your faith. Maybe it's inviting people to a Bible study with you. Maybe it's starting a Bible study. Maybe it's just being more vocal about what you believe. Maybe it's you stop cussing, right? Maybe it's how you speak in public. Maybe it's, you know, there could be a lot of things. But when you're talking about being more bold in your faith, that creates a ripple effect on the world. Because when you start to really integrate faith out of your mouth and you start being more bold about it, you start changing everything around you. You change your kids, you change your marriage, you change your business, you change your friendships. And I'm not talking about getting rid of them. I'm talking about people notice and can see a change in you when you become more bold in your faith. Okay. So where do you need to be more bold in your faith? Ask yourself that. Okay, now let's look at your family. Now, this one is, you know, you guys are mama bears out there, okay? And you guys care so much about your family. When we did a survey of our clients, before we did our rebrand, we did a survey and we just kind of asked them like, you know, what's important to you? Here's what we found out. Women care about their family and their dogs, okay? They do not care about money. They know that money is important and they know that they need it and they they want to create a lot of it. But they, at the end of the day, the things that are the most important to them are their family and their dogs. And which I loved that I loved that dogs were at the top of the list because that's how I feel. But being bold in your family means making choices for your children and for you and for your family that are counterculture. It means standing up for what you believe in. Maybe it's standing up for what you believe in politically. Maybe it's in the education system. Maybe it's in a health matter. But 
we, when we are bold in our family and we make bold choices for our family, we give people permission to also do that. So people who are afraid to be bold, when we become bold, we give them permission to be bold. So where do you need to be more bold in your family? What, what has the Holy Spirit been saying to you about your kids and about what needs to happen in your kids' lives or in your life, right? Or in your marriage. Last year, something that my husband and I did was go to this marriage conference that totally changed our marriage forever. And it was something that I knew I needed to be more bold in my family. And I need to take ownership of some things in my family and take authority over things in my family. So where do you need to be more bold in your family? And the last one is your income. Now, when we were doing our rebrand for the Daring Daughters, we purposely chose the word income instead of the word finances. And I'll tell you why. Because the ability for you to change your life is directly proportional to the amount of income that you have. So if you want to radically change your family's legacy, creating more income is imperative, okay? Yes, having good finances is awesome. And that's a great place for a financial advisor to be telling you about how to manage your finances. But on this podcast, what we focus on is the increase of the income, okay? The Proverbs 31 woman, if you look at her, she had tons of businesses and she was creating income and she was running the ship, okay? Literally, because some of her stuff was about ships. She talks about having ships and, you know, when the ports come in and trading with the merchants. And so we really focus in the Daring Daughters about how to create extra income, okay? And now this is not saying go do extra work. A lot of times you got to do work to get the income, right? But we really strive to leverage time and to leverage resources and to leverage and scale our businesses so that they don't exhaust us, so that we can focus on our family. It's a big piece of what we do here. So I encourage you to keep listening to our episodes. They're only going to get better and better this year. As we get better and better as a team at the Daring Daughters, we are imparting our everything that we learn onto you. And so I want you to be thinking about how can you be more bold in your faith, in your family, and your income in 2024. Have a good day. Thank you so much for joining us in another episode of the Daring Daughters podcast. We encourage you to take the lessons shared today and apply them in your own life. Remember, success isn't measured solely by financial gain, but by the lives touch, the hearts change, and the kingdom impact you leave the friend. If you enjoyed today's episode and want to continue engaging with our community of fearless women of faith, we invite you to leave a review and screenshot this episode and share it on your favorite social media and remember to tag us at The Daring Daughters so that we can reach even more women like yourself. Remember, dear Daring Daughter, you were created for such a time as this. Your faith, your business, and your life purpose are beautifully intertwined. And together, they have the power to change the world. Until next time, stay daring, stay faithful, and keep shining your light.